Welcome traders. In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how to use the Swing Trading TTBB breakout line indicator on TradingView. So once we load up our indicator, and you can tell the difference between the Swing Trading and Day Trading indicators with either the letter D or the letter W. The one with the letter D, that's the Day Trading one, and the W is for the Swing Trading. So once we load these up for the swing trading indicator, the green line is a monthly high. The red line is a monthly low. And then the yellow line is the indicator that I created. And this measures multiple parameters over a period of time and comes up with this value. This value does not change once it calculates and goes flat. And this is what we are looking for. So if I just kind of zoom out, you can see Microsoft overall with these five minute candlesticks and how it functions. So when it breaks above the yellow line, so breaking through the yellow line, you want to look for a bullish trade. If it breaks below that yellow line, you want to look for a bearish trade. And as it breaks, either side of that yellow line, you want to put a stop loss relatively close to that yellow line, but just enough to give yourself a little room to let the trade work out. So let's start back here. We can see these five minute candlesticks. They push up and that yellow line is right on top of that red line. It breaks through and then it doesn't fully commit. But if we had a stop loss in, just right below that yellow line right there, we'd be okay. We'd just take a small loss, if that. I mean, we could've took profit, easy. But let's just say we didn't. We had a stop loss in, it makes us run up, it doesn't commit, and then it drops at the end of the day. It triggers us pretty much dead even. So we walk away, live to fight another day in this trade. And then it just kind of goes sideways over the next two days. At this point, there's no, no trade right here in Microsoft because we're not breaking above or below that yellow line. Now, if we watch this, and let me zoom in just a little bit more right here. So if we watch these five minute candlesticks, you can see where they break above that yellow line. And as it breaks above that yellow line, again, remember what I said with just, you know, keeping your stop loss tight here to protect yourself, because we're, we're looking for swing trades and we, we want to give it the best chance to work out. So it breaks above the yellow line. We put our stop loss in just a little bit below, and that's going to be dependent on you, your risk tolerance, and also whatever value for the ticker it is that you may be trading. So here, it breaks above, we make this bullish push, it comes up, and then it comes back below, and it does break through it. So we, we could have cut it here. We would have still been in profit. Not much, but we wouldn't have took a, a loss. Or if we did take a, a loss, it would have been just a small one. So it does its thing, and even if we started looking at it to the bearish side here, you know, we let it do whatever it's going to do in the same concept. Now here, Microsoft just chopped around all day. It goes sideways. The next day, kind of does the same thing. It shoots up, and then it comes back down. But we would have protected ourselves by keeping a close tolerance for that stop loss. Right here, at the end of the day, it breaks up, and we have a pretty good push on up here to about 212 and then after hours chops around comes back down and you can see just how with on, on that five minute chart it just chops like that and then it finally commits on this day it breaks above and then so this value right here it breaks above roughly 210 62 and then it just shoots up to over 214 it pulls back 
And with your swing trade, once you get into a position like this, the setup, you can readjust your stop loss based on the value of that yellow line and setting it just a little bit below it. So we can see this five minute candles come down, just touches it enough and bounces and comes back up. Comes back down, gets close to it, but it doesn't, doesn't do anything. It comes back up and then goes sideways. Then right here, it breaks through and we could have took our profit. We obviously wouldn't have made the best profit that we could have, you know, for instance, like right in here, but at the same time, even if we let this break back through that yellow line, once we had a breakout, a true breakout, we would have still been better off than just letting this thing go against us and just do whatever it wanted to do. So looking forward, same thing, we wait for that setup to happen. It breaks up above that yellow line and then it commits to it and then runs. So let's look at a bearish swing trade. This is ticker DDOG. And just looking at the chart with these five minute candles, we let it do its thing. We're waiting on a, a setup to actually happen. We can see on this date right here, it shoots down pretty quick, breaks below that yellow line. So we would have made an entry right here, or even just in this general range, we'd have made that entry. And then it literally goes from the yellow line, that value is 85.30, down here to its low at 82. And it just chops around for the most part for the rest of the day. This next day, it opens up roughly where it closed at and then shot down to about 81.50. At some point, you need to determine what your target price is going to be. You can use these yellow, I'm sorry, these red and green lines as target prices in general. But when you start to see it pull away from those lines, you need to go ahead and plan to lock in profits. So that's just a, a quick way to explain how I use this indicator for swing trades. And this works for anything that you can trade on TradingView.